exactly what you said is what I went through in their hands. Pastor Ben is his agent as well. They lied to me. Please, Jay, could we talk? Let me call this person. I don't know who she is. Let me call this person right now and hear what uh, he has to say. <laughs> Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm okay. Is that Jay? Yes, I just read your message right now and I'm on live on I'm live on Facebook as I'm talking to you now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm being realistic with you. Okay. I'm in United Kingdom, I'm not scared of them. Even when you came, you left your church, you came there in the one in Johannesburg, mm -hmm. where Africa is. Mm -hmm. I was on the front lane mm -hmm. because I came from US, I was being placed there. What happened is I spent two weeks, they never prophesied for me. You spent two weeks they in South Africa. Okay, just hold on. Before you continue, you said you are based in the UK, right? Yeah, I'm based in the UK. Originally, where are you from? I am from Cameroon. You're from I'm Cameroon. Based in UK. Okay, now tell me what happened. Exactly. I will put it in video because when I came to uh, South Africa, uh -huh. my video is there. Even my in-law got it and gave it to my family. Do you I mind? Do you I mind? In UK. Do you UK mind? Style. Do you mind sending me the link to your video so that as we talk right now, we can be playing your video as well? No, the link is in my email because when I got back to UK, she she he watched me over the program and okay. tell it to my men in the Netherlands. Okay. And even before I got back to UK, they really didn't know about it. Okay. And I remember here in UK, I uh -huh. had more than ten thousand people. Mm -hmm. Calling me every day. Then I couldn't tell them the truth because I didn't want it to look like a humiliate issue to me because my wife was also here in UK. Okay. What happened is when I came two weeks there, mm -hmm. I was living in Palisbury with my uh, cousin there. Okay. I have all the details. Okay. I was paying transport. I was spending a lot of money attending all the training services. Okay. So after two weeks, Nobody prophesied for me. All if right. you go to my record, then you will check there was a man who came from the UK who had a problem. The time his children were being taken by the social service. Okay. If you I, I remember. I remember that prophecy. I remember it. Yes, I was the one. I was the one. I was wearing a, a white t-shirt, something like, he should hear me. I okay. still have the two t-shirts here with me. Mm -hmm. What happened is, after two weeks, they never prophesied to me. Okay. Pastor then came to me. They went really clever than him okay i'm putting you do you mind if i if i connect on video then i put you on the screen okay put on your light because i want every, i want everybody to see you on the screen as you are talking just in case people will think i'm online okay let me put on light okay let me just put on the light and this is a different person who's also calling me you know he also has his own story of what happened Guys, this place is a scam. It's not a church. Yeah. Okay, I hear you. Yeah. Right. I, I'm not of any of them. They are boys to me. Okay. This is house. Uh -huh. in, in UK, I can even give you my address. If okay. You want the address right in me. This is my house where I am. In okay. UK. Okay. What happened? We had a problem. Mm hmm. With social service. Okay. My wife was so interested for me to be a visit to South Africa. I came there for four weeks, some days. Okay. After two weeks, nobody prophesied for me. Okay. I have all proof. So people calling me, I have this number here. So the record of my phone. He keeps on calling me. I was talking to him in also even when I came back in UK. Okay. I'm calling him when I was in the service. I had some few agents. I came to realize all those guys around me, all those ladies around me, they were agents. Okay. Because so before I came to church, I'm in a taxi. They will call me that, where are you? I say, I'm in a taxi. They say, we have to sell a place for you. Okay. So if I get to church, they will come and pick me. They take it to the front seat, thinking that I have problems like me. Okay. But I to discover that 
we were collaborating with the members of the church. Mm. So I said to myself that when I asked you, is it that you people are too familiar with these people? They say, no, you know, we have been attending this church. Mm -hmm. But I took that they were just playing games to me. So what happened is after two weeks, they never prophesied to me. Each time I'm in church, Pastor Ben would come at the back seat. Mm -hmm. We have a private child. He would ask me questions. It is not my memory is coming. Pastor mm -hmm. so Ben got a phone that it seems like he records everything I see. Okay. I have to. He always told me that picture. He took me where when Sitor comes and we take them. Where you have an attachment of uh, the past from there. He said, Go and stand by the frame and take some few pictures and send to me. Okay. In my house, I will explain everything to him. He was just talking at me that grown up man that I built guy as camera. Okay, um, just hold on. Do, do you mind if you can uh, try to get me the link from your in law and call me back? Thank you. But these people, people need to know the truth about this. Okay. People have been scammed. Mm. And I wouldn't like people to be victims of that. Mm. So, so what, what really happened to you? Do you mind sharing? Yeah, that wouldn't be a, a, a new issue. Because it was in the video. Anybody watching the video know my problem. Okay. I have a problem with the social service where my children were being taken by social service or their own personal reason. I wouldn't like to criticize them on myself because those things happen, they could happen to anyone. Okay. So I decided to take the face of God. No, that's so fine. When I came there, it was few like scammers, you know. Mm. Everything I told Pastor Ben is exactly what the man God told me. Never uh, what did you say? Everything I told Pastor Ben, uh -huh. about myself. Okay. Exactly the information the man of God prophesied in church. Everything, everything uh, that you told Pastor Ben is everything uh, that uh, Al prophesied to you in church. Okay. Please. Oh, I see. And my wife can testify because when they prophesied to me, I went back to my nephew's house mm -hmm. to Johannesburg. Okay. So I did to my wife, mm -hmm. the first question my wife asked me is, how comes that after the two weeks they never prophesied to you? Then suddenly today, I said you can't take it. If you're watching, you should have seen it. My wife asked me one question that up to today I'm ashamed. My wife said, did you ever tell anybody our story? Because nobody in South Africa knows us. Even mm. my nephew, I went know our problem. I said, no, we have we have people in church and one trustworthy person who is as to bed. I really can't mention that name. I said, I told him everything. Then immediately my wife shouted at me. I said, don't scream at me. Mm. Yeah, don't me. They just they said you are lacking something. I don't want to mean. I said, ah, come on. Exactly what you told her is what they prophesy in church. And they never have to subtract anything from okay. what you are telling me now. So I couldn't realize it. After some time, I was actually even before I came to UK. People were talking to me that I should be sincere. I said, no, I'm it's a man of God. You go and do best. Basically, the reason why I didn't say this is because I was already ashamed of myself. Mm. The you put that was risk. You know, there are certain things that you will be shy to take it. True. So you, you, want to, you really like people to make a mockery of you. Yeah, true, true. You true. And like you, you mess up. Uh, okay, let me just uh, conclude the live broadcast. Then I'll give you a call when I'm done. Then we'll just uh, have a chat, okay? Okay. okay I'll still be my aim to say it. Okay, God, okay. God bless you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, bye. And I
Unfortunately, um, some people could hear and some couldn't really hear well, but his story is just the same. There's no difference to what we are dealing with uh, right now. He's also coming through to say um, he spoke to Pastor Ben for two weeks. He was in AMI at uh, Johannesburg. He never received a prophecy. But after two weeks, he spoke to Pastor Ben. Uh, the Pastor Ben is the guy who... Um, uh, Pastor Ben is the guy who, who arranged the resurrection saga. And then afterwards, he ran away. He went back to Congo. Uh, the, the, the husband to Benny Mwepo. Benny Mwepo, I'm actually very disappointed in you because I, I used to think that you're not part of these things. But when I got to hear that you are actually part of everything and you even went to somebody's hotel to receive some perfumes and stuff, I was very much disappointed. But anyway, uh, you, it's time for you guys to really seek the face of God and repent, you know, and repent. Seek the face of God, you know, worship him in truth and in spirit. Repent, 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 repent. This is time for you guys to repent. Okay, so he's saying after two weeks he was there. He never received a prophecy. And then two weeks later he spoke to Pastor Ben. And then everything that he spoke to Pastor Ben about that was when now we now received a prophecy. Now, everything I'm saying, it's, it's not a lie. This man is originally from Cameroon. I'm sure you heard his accent. He's originally from Cameroon, uh, but right now he's based in the UK. These are international visitors. All those IVP that you hear, oh, there was IVP, there was IVP, there was, I, uh, there was IVP. These are the IVPs. You know, this is IVP. These are people who travel from all the way from America, UK, England, Canada, you know, Britain, just coming, thinking that what they see on TV is real. But when they get to South Africa, it's all fake. Same applies with Pretoria. People travel, they come all the way from Pretoria, all the way from different countries, going to Pretoria, to that charlatan Bay from Malawi, thinking everything is real. But when they get there, it's all fake. You know, there's a guy uh, 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 who was exposing the miracles, you know. He was exposing the miracles, exposing the angels that were arranged on TV, the angels that they arranged, how information, you know. It, so this is a system. It, it, it happens everywhere. You get to a church, you think it's a church. You, you think you're having a normal conversation with somebody at church. That time they are recording you, then the next thing the Papa is prophesying. This nonsense is coming to an end in the name of Jesus. It is coming to an end in Jesus' mighty name. So I know that, uh, you know, all these charlatans have been going around looking for women, trying to see who can we use to say uh, J. Israel raped. You know, J. Israel J. Listen, <laughs> one thing that you must know about me is that in my entire life, ever since I was born, I might have had my own fair share of failed relationships, you know, my own problems with girls and stuff, you know, which every guy my age, you know, every guy who was my age as I was coming through in ministry, you know, obviously has gone through. But one thing that I've never done in my life is to rape a woman. I don't abuse women. I'm not an abuser of women. I've never in my life tried to force myself on somebody who didn't want to have sex with me. Not even once. That is why they've tried, they've tried to look for women to this and that. They can't find nothing, you know. They can't find nobody. <laughs> you know, they can't find nobody. Not even one person. I'm a very nice guy, by the way. I'm a nice guy, you know. I'm a nice guy. I'm a very sweet guy, you know. If you meet me in person, you'll be shocked and you ask yourself, are you the one that I always watch, you know, screaming on, on TV and screaming on, on, on everywhere? But I'm telling you, this is reality, okay? So, yeah. It's happening. It's happening in and out. This year, charlatans will repent. I want to add one or two people. I want to add one or two people. I see somebody says, you're a fine boy. You don't need to. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, I mean, come on. You know, I'm, I'm not that bad. You know, with all this fineness that I have. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I just want to add one or two people to the broadcast. I just want, to, I just want us to have a, a conclusion to the matter that I was dealing with and everything that I was talking about. Let's conclude. Uh, whatever you want to say, whatever you want to say to me, um, just tell me if you want to join me live right now on the live broadcast. Uh, 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 uh. Say something about Apostle Moshala. No, 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 definitely. Very soon I'm going to, I'm going to, he did a live broadcast some months ago and he was calling me a spiritual bipolar person, spiritually bipolar and stuff like that. I just kept quiet, you know, and I just kept quiet because I said, okay, it's fine. Let me just allow him to manifest. Uh, his response is coming, and his response would definitely send him packing. After I respond 
to the video that he did to me, he will never preach again in his life. I'll end his prophetic career. <laughs> okay, so if you want me to add you, just uh, quickly comment uh, in the comment section. Uh, quickly comment in the comment section um, if you want me to add you. Uh, comment in the comment section so that I can add you. We just have a quick chat and then afterwards, I'm out. Yeah, that's true. No one is perfect. Uh, very true. Nobody is perfect. Nobody is perfect. No one is perfect. Okay? We are dealing with falsehood here. We are not I'm not going after people's weaknesses. That is why you will never see me coming to say, no, I'm exposing this one because you are sleeping with this one. Uh, no, those are, those are people's personal weaknesses that I'll never deal with, you know. So, yeah. Uh, if you want me to add you, kindly uh, drop a comment in the comment box so that I can add you on this live broadcast. Let's have a quick chat and then afterwards I'm rounding up the broadcast. Then we meet again on Friday. Uh, we meet on Friday uh, for our normal uh, Sunday service. Oh no, one, one after the other, one after the other, one after the other, one after the other, one after the other. Up until we finish all the charlatans. Everybody must know who is a charlatan and who is not. They must be known. You are not responding your WhatsApp. On my WhatsApp, I have about 28,000 messages that are waiting for me on WhatsApp right now. So please just uh, be patient be patient so if you would like me to, if you'd like me to add you kindly uh, a, a comment on the comment section so that i can add you i see somebody says passion java another scammer in the name of a uh, prophet yeah no 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 he's a, a big time big time scammer big time scammer that one is a charlatan big time charlatan uh, big time charlatan who's lying to people that is rich then after he lies to people that he's rich, he comes to say, send an offering of $500, really. Who does that? Who does that? Jay, what about Sia one who called himself, what, what, what? He said you will mess with him and uh, what? You say mess with him, you're afraid of Sia one Me, afraid of Sia one I mean, who is Sia one to start with? I hear that is some guy who's been claiming that I went to him and I wanted power. This guy must stop mentioning my name. The next time he wants to play, he must go and play in Zambia, the way they deported him. He must not try to come here and play around with my name and talk nonsense. You know, to start with, he's not a man of God. Why would I even, even be addressing him? He has made it very public that him is not a man of God. He doesn't serve God. You know, he uses a power from, you know, uh, from his ancestors. Why would I even worry myself about somebody like that? He's not even a charlatan, you know? He's not even a charlatan. He's, in fact, he's somebody who claims to have power, yet he does not even have power. He's been doing fake miracles of lying to people that he can give people miracle money, you know? Look at yourself, the way you look, the way you dress, and then you say you can give people miracle money. What kind of nonsense is that? He must stop lying about my name. And, you know, people must just stop lying about my name. Why would I even mention about him? Why would I even talk about this guy? Why would I even talk about him? Who is he? Who is he in the equation of